Major poll shows Biden beats Trump, but DeSantis beats Biden. A recent poll shows that Ron DeSantis would defeat Joe Biden if the presidential election was held today. The Florida governor is yet to declare his candidacy for the 2024 election, but following a triumphant performance in the midterms, the survey showed DeSantis winning the support of 45% of likely voters, while Biden won 42%. His fellow Floridian, Donald Trump, has already declared his intention to run again for the presidency. The only point of concern for DeSantis's team is recognition. While photos of Trump and Biden were correctly identified by almost all respondents, over a third, 36%, could not name DeSantis when shown his picture. Last month's poll saw 56% of voters backing DeSantis versus 33% backing Trump. The pollster spoke to 1,000 people in December. Both Biden and Trump are now being investigated by special counsels for their handling of classified material, and Trump, who had more than 300 documents stashed at Mar-a-Lago and held on to them for months, could face charges. DeSantis, by contrast, has won praise for his November campaign for re-election as governor, which saw him win over voters even in Democratic strongholds such as Miami-Dade County. He is thought likely to announce his candidacy this spring. Biden, meanwhile, has, uh, is said by aides to be very seriously considering a shot at the second term. The news is interesting to me and worrisome. Yeah. And for me, uh, I've, I've, I've fallen under a lot of criticism of, say, go Trump, go. And I continue to say it, go Trump, go. Because until, uh, as we get through that Republican primary and the debate and all of the mudslinging, uh, Trump's genius uh, for the uh, 2016 cycle was taking on 13 other Republican candidates, uh, including Little Marco, and was successful in the branding of Little Marco and everyone else to the point of propelling him into the nomination. This time, we want Donald Trump to do the exact same thing against a much more powerful Ron DeSantis. And he's already got a nickname for him. I can't remember what it is, but he's already got yeah. a nickname for DeSantis. And this, this poll really is the stuff of nightmares. And hate-mongering bully DeSantis and his evil Stepford wife, Casey, are ensconced. <laughs> the idea of them being ensconced in the White House really could mean the demise of our community. Who would have ever thought, I, I just think it's really uh, interesting, and the poll brings this to light, who would have ever thought that we would in any way LGBTQ community uh, cheer for Donald Trump? For Trump. Trump. Oh. I mean, yeah, exactly. Well, you're cheering against Trump for yeah. Trump. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> enemy of my enemy yes. is my, my friend, friend for a little while. Right. <laughs> just temporarily. I, mean, I think we've learned, uh, first of all, first, do not trust polls, um, which yeah, would be the first you. thing. But there was one poll that I think was really, um, you know, maybe a positive for Biden. Um, the poll came out that I think it was only around 9% of voters were concerned about investigating Biden, which mm. seems to be the only agenda that yeah, Republicans are yeah. focusing on. And while they may throw it back at Democrats saying, well, we're investigating Trump, the Democrats have also passed a series of real legislation that actually helped exactly Americans. Right. Yeah. So let the Republicans yeah. continue to focus on investigating the six yeah. pieces of yeah. paper that, that, that <laughs> exactly. Biden left in a box <laughs> in, his, in, in his garage you know, and you know, let them focus you know, solely I'm not, on that. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Uh, you know, I'm not at Fox News and I'm not at Newsmax. But if I were a conspiracy theorist, I would say that this is an ingenious plan yes. to seed the fact that he had some yeah. innocuous but classified documents. Because if Republicans come out super strong on this, okay, granted, let's we'll discuss the impact of these documents. Now, all of your arguments, let's turn to Mar-a-Lago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is exactly. A, it's a good trap. It's a, a great very trap. good trap. Sure. And by also one other last one, and you jump right in. Um, a production reminds me uh, that uh, Trump uh, labeled Dis, uh, Ron DeSanctimonious. Yes. Right, that's, that's what it was. Yes. You know, one of the things, and I'm grateful for the whole we can't trust polls things because it's way too early, but it is, yeah. it is, you know, it could be generative in some ways, right? Um, but what I would say the story really kind of um, makes me think immediately is that we can't take for, for granted that 
Miami is a democratic stronghold like Absolutely. that. I, like, yeah. And that is like pay much more attention to your black and brown voters and to do outreach and to really talk mm -hmm. about the issues that are affecting uh, at these uh, affecting them in these in this critical. You know, uh, speaking of that, could you remind me where the Wilsonian uh, Center is? What? So there's the Wilsonian Museums in South Beach. <laughs> oh, it's in Miami. <laughs> it's in Miami. Oh, okay. And we're based out of Southwest Miami. I'm, and I'm sorry, Dr. Uh, Capo Jr. Uh, could you remind me where the Florida International University is? In Miami. Is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just trying to get me fired. <laughs> oh. It seems like. <laughs> well, you know, I was thinking well, when I first heard the news, I was like, damn it. Mm. Because, you know, like that just is the one thing that I think could really hurt them, even though. You can't, it's like apples and oranges mm -hmm. compared to- Literally like, orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> right, exactly. Too soon, no, it's- And then I was, I started thinking, well, if he doesn't run, who could be the Democratic candidate? Oh. Who do you, th you all yeah, think? That's the question. I mean, ask that have you all, um, have you all, has um, Wes Moore been on your radar? Mm -hmm. You know, the mm -hmm. new um, governor of um, Baltimore, Mar Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, Maryland, yes. yeah. 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 Yeah, I think he's pretty good. I mean, I, I'm just throwing out a name, but yeah. I just thought, like, who would be able to beat DeSantis? Yeah. A lot can Has change. to be a big yeah. fundraising person, Joe that's for sure. Biden. Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. That's where uh, we gotta stick currently with. our Daffy eggs Duck. are. Stick with the one you work I mean, with. I mean, <laughs> literally, I love him. Come on, guys. I love yeah. him. But I'm just saying, like, after that news, I was like, yeah. oh, my God, what are we going to do? Like, you know, if it, if it works against him and he decides, oh, it's not going to be a go. You know who we want to be Ron DeSantis is Donald Trump. Trump. That's what we want. <laughs> yes, yes. So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So, make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.